Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. I give you the truth. And today I want to talk about high value, man. Being a high value man. Like, before I do disclaimer, Kevin Samuels came up with it, you know, and based in so he has a right to to have his own definition of it. Which my definition of being a high value is is not just like the earthly thing it's a combination of the earthly the spiritual so on and so forth so without further ado i will get into my list and again it's not a shot at kevin samuels he has a right to you know he invented he came up with this whole concept and, and put it on the mainstream but my definition is based on more than one facet and here's why it's a lot of men with money that have that are scammers. It's a lot of men with money that are involved in groups that are against God. It's a lot of men with money that uh, they stole from others. So you got you got uh, atheist preachers that are, according to some people's definition, high value men because they make a hundred thousand a year and have done so for for multiple years. Even though they are a scamming preacher. So I'm going to give you, and in fact, I would entitle this, and I wrote them down. So you'll see me looking down. We'll get through this video. I know some of y'all got short attention spans. Y'all go by outward appearance. I might not look the way some of you want me to look, but just watch the video. Ten things that make a man a true high value man a high value man is based on things that the most high said makes a person a high value man honorable mention would be uh integrity it would be integrity but i left integrity off of this list but that definitely could be on this list in fact that would probably fall along the lines of number two I just didn't use the word integrity, but this list is based on biblical principles now. Now, based on what's been revealed in scripture and based on the, the factual knowledge that there's a God, like people have opinions that there ain't, but they're just opinions because they're not based on factual evidence within the atmosphere, and within the world. So, they're just opinions. But these are based on principles that come from multiple books. Not just the Bible, multiple books. Ten things that make a man a true value man, high value man. Number one, relationship with the most high. A relationship, a connection with God. We hear because of God. So you have a relationship, you have a connection with him. When you find favor, good favor with him, that is one of the traits of a high value man. Like he says, what gathered, what profit a man if he gains the whole world, but loses his soul? And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? You should want to pursue money. You should want to get money, but understand that fact. Understand that principle. Number two, morals that he uses correctly. Like I said, integrity could be in this list. Morals that he uses correctly. Morals, well, I say uses correctly because there's a lot of people in the world that their misunderstanding the scripture causes them to allow people to get away with things. That's the reason why you have men trading energies with women, if you will. And I heard Black Ram talking about this recent today. Uh, that when you basically, when you, uh, allow a woman to lead you, y'all, you basically gave her your masculine energy and you took her feminine energy. You supposed to run your, your household from a masculine fashion. If she leaves, so what? So what? If she do some dumb stuff and thinks she going to beat you in court, you got to get clever. We ain't going to say too much on you, but you don't just let no woman fleece you out of your earnings. But anyway, number three, 
the ability to help boys become men. You not a high value man if just because you make a lot of money. If you're not taking care of kids that you put in the world, if you're not helping your sons become men, you're not a high value man. Number four, loving of oneself slash high self-esteem. These chicks should not be making you feel depression. These chicks should not be making you feel sad. That's not their job. That's not their value. The most, that's the most high. Then put them in the earth for that. And you're making them an idol when you allow your job or these women to bring depression and sadness within you. When you learn how to manage your emotions, that makes you a high value man. Number five, will put a woman in her place when needed. Again, you the man, she's the woman. Just the Bible says dwell with her in an understanding manner. What's an understanding manner? That you understand when she getting out of line, you got you trying to put her in her place. She won't get in her place. You get rid of her and you get one that you either don't have to put in her place or she'll allow you to put her in the place. But don't let these chicks run nothing because they got a, a, a V. Please. I can make the off-white sauce. Well, we ain't going to get wing. I ain't going to even go there. I ain't going to even go there. Number six, wisdom. If you don't know nothing, it don't matter how much you make. It doesn't matter because money is temporal. You're not going to be able to take it with you when you die. People can put it in your casket all they want. When you die, you're not going to be able to take nothing from this world with you. You're going to go into the next life the same way you came into this life. Number seven, knows how to protect. If you only can protect with a pistol, you ain't no different from Pookie and Ray Ray. What if you can't get to your pistol? E-40 had a line and wolf tickets that I'm not going to say, but it's the truth. Like a lot of guys travel in packs because they don't have this ability that I'm talking about. Like to protect, like like you can protect with your hands. Uh, some cases you may need a weapon, but you can you can protect with your hands and head. I, I can headbutt you just as hard as I can hit you with my fist or kick you in my feet. I can headbutt you. I can bite you. I can throw you out of a window. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to talk violent. I'm just saying. Number eight, treats women how they should be treated based on their own attitudes and behaviors. That can be hand in hand with number five. But eight is kind of different. Eight is kind of different. So because eight, if she's a Sarah like woman, then she should be somebody's wife. As long as she stays Sarah-like, she gets away from Sarah-like, then she should be somebody's ex-wife. So a high-value man knows how to treat women how they should be treated. You don't treat no wife material woman like a hoe. Excuse me, lane 304. You don't, you just don't do it. Like, you don't treat, see, that's, that's guys that's scared of getting hurt. If she exhibits virtuous characteristics, then yes, marriage is still risky because she might change. But those are the ones you spend a little more time with. Those are the ones that it's all right to take her out to dinner. It's all right to have Netflix night. But, but, like it says, you treat them how they should be treated based on their own attitudes and behaviors. See, a high value man is going to do this you know, you're going to put number five. You're going to intertwine number five on this list, number eight on this list. Number nine, he has potential. He has goals. He's headed somewhere. See, it's not just those who arrive. It's those that are headed somewhere and they stay on their path. That makes you a high value man. When you have all these other characteristics, relationship with God, morals, ability to help men, boys become men. Because see, you... When you have kids, your kids ain't going to be terrorizing the neighborhood. Your kids ain't going to be demon seed walking around looking people all in the face trying to start stuff. Not your kids. Not when you're a high value man. A real high value man.
your kids, people going to say, your kids are so, I love your son. Your son is a, a good kid. A real high value man. That's what they're going to say about his sons and his daughters. Number 10 is along the lines of what Kevin Samuel said, a provider. You had the potential, number nine. Now you 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 stayed on your path. The high value man is going to stay on this path. See, that's why you don't let people judge you based on past mistakes. You know, they have a right to think what they want. But you demand with your your ambition, respect. And you, because you had bad credit in the past, because you filed bankruptcy in the past, you lost houses, lost cars. That don't even matter. What matters is what you're doing today, what you're going to do tomorrow. Yesterday don't matter as much. Don't let people judge you based on yesterday. Make them judge you based on what you do today and what you're going to do tomorrow. So number 10 does matter. Like, And yes, that's a good number. That's a good number to strive for is to get to the point where you're making $10,000 a month. I believe if you're making $10,000 a month, then you, that person, won't have no money problems. That person that had the time and the resources to, to make this list, did I mention the reality? Well, we at the 11.30 mark, so we're going to close this video. This is the truth, man. Giving you the top 10 reason or top 10 or 10, if you will, characteristics that make a man a true high value man. So for all of y'all dudes that think just because you got money, think again. If you a little jerk, if you a little chump, you still ain't there yet. The channel is the no matrix, no fake high value with one one characteristic. You only got a tenth of it down. No simping, all subjects channel. I will see you uh, probably Sunday. I probably won't make no videos tomorrow, but I will see you Sunday or if not Sunday next week. Thanks for watching.